today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own how to make your own combination lock but you have to press a button to accept it so even if you actually do it wrong then that's absolutely fine so I'm going to do three levers with the one button the last so you want to place so first I'm just going to place all the levers here so I'm going to place three levers with the button here now you have to make the last lever without a redstone torch now they all should have redstone torches but the to change it but the last one won't have a redstone torch if you want the button here actually no that's not true so i'm going to just going to put three redstone torches on each of that side so these levers flick off those redstone torches but for now we're just going to keep them up so one's gonna so one see one's gonna go here one piece of redstone then one's gonna go here and then one i'm gonna and then on the last one i'm gonna do a repeat test of these redstone stone connect so you can see you've got three different lines not connecting so next we are going to make a track a rail track behind the bun so we're just going to do so now you can see that's powered, so if you have to move it one to the left, so I'm going to break that. So I was actually telling the truth, sorry about that, you can just break that while you're building it. Then we, we can build off, so you want to make a few turns like this, so the, the rest and torches will switch that off. And then I'm going to do one this way, like this, and then you can pick any spot where you're correct one is going to be so i think i'm going to put my correct one here so you want to place your detector rail here and that will detect that it's gone i'll play i'll build this about two up so you can see like some of the stuff redstone will go underground so then you can see it better so that should turn now this obviously what now that that's in the right way okay so here we're going to just do one bit of rail and then the detector rail which goes somewhere else and then the wrong ones you could detect up and maybe they could possibly dispense lava so this but this but both of these are going to go absolutely nowhere now you have to hook these up to the turners so you can go like here so i was going to replace that with blue so you can see it better down here and then round like this, and then a repeat. Uh, there we go, a repeat of that. Actually, broke that. And then you want to dig down, and you can see where your tunnel is. So you want to place your block there. I'm just going to go and get a redstone torch, place that there, and we're going to extend this rail by one. Like this. There we go. So I believe if we flick to this lever, yes, it's this lever. The trail, the rat, the track you can see is moving right there. So I'm just going to keep that up for now. Then onto the other one, we're going to drop one down, place a redstone. I'm going to break it down here so you can see it better. And then redstone torch. Now, wait, so I didn't put a repeater there, but that should work. Yep, it has worked successfully. It still turns without the repeater, so we can break, but we can't break that because that's there. And if we place that, it'll be like a spiral and it don't, it won't actually power that block. So we have to put that repeater there for that one. Okay, now they're all up. Now for the system, which will open a door or power somewhere else. So I'm going to do it. A door so we can place re redstone under here. So, if you didn't know, if we place a minecart on top of here, it will power that redstone. So, we're going to do this redstone over here into a block with a redstone torch. Now, uh, you can now I'm just going to do one block to make it as compact as possible. A block there on top, two sticky pistons, so that will get powered and that will get powered and put the block in it's as simple as that so if we give this a test so basically what's happening the rail will switch and it has to get to that detector rail 
So the correct levers we have to do is this one, and that one's already right. So if we press this button, off we send the track. Now I think uh, I'm going to put some repeater delay the speed on this a bit. There, that's absolutely perfect. There we go. So there we have it. That and then it gets powered and flings off the edge. And if you want it to act like a lever, just put a stop there and the door will forever be opened like that. And then we can always walk through. Then you could go into the system and break this or hook it up so it goes like here to the start. But that's the end of the video guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this works around for you. Any questions be sure to comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed or found this helpful. It really supports me and bye.